Hello. Look, here's my roadster. It's been under this tarp for, I don't know, probably about a year. Uh, I've got a car space in the garage now, so I wanted to get it in before the winter, get it running and at least, you know, check that it's still in roadworthy condition. Let's um, start uncovering it and, um, you know, see if I can get it going. I might need to move the truck, I might need to move this car. Um, but I'm just going to start doing it now. It's about five o'clock on a Sunday, so let's see how long it takes to get it running. I'm not going to kill myself rushing, but let's just see. Okay, back in a bit. Well, there's the car. Okay, I've I'd forgotten actually, but um, I've I've borrowed some things off the engine. The uh, plug leads and the rotor arm and the distributor cap. I'd forgotten about that, so that might cause a little delay. But by and large, because the car is so rough. <clears throat> Pardon me. Because the car is so rough, it doesn't appear to have deteriorated overly, overly deteriorated. There's some water been in the back. I could do with rubbing this floor down now and giving it another coat of paint. But it doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Keys are in it, <laughs> which is good because uh, I would have struggled to find them if I'd have taken them out. Okay, um, I need to put a good battery on it. The first two batteries I've just picked out both need charging up. So I'm going to wait till one of those is charged and in the meantime I'll put the distributor cap and leads on and rotor arm. There's the old Roadster, haven't seen it for quite a while. I did, um, I did uncover it not too long ago and I moved it forward about six foot so that um, we could have the wall repaired there where I put that pallet so other than moving it forward which we just pushed it uh, it hasn't moved for probably about a year GAO 2019 Vintage Nationals 2019 Pendine Sands 2017, Pendine Sands 2016. I'll go and find the distributor cap and leads then and we'll get those on there. Could could be easier said than done. Okay, back in a bit. I found the uh, cap and leads and the rotor, the rotor arm. They're these, uh, well, these have been what I consider to be bulletproofed by building up epoxy there and there and there these are kind of recognized weak points and also on the top of there I've, I've had these fail by sparking through there to the shaft and I've had them spark through here to the clips and I've had them spark through there as well to the main lead. So this is my effort at bulletproofing. So just thought I'd show you that in case you know you might want to do something similar. Okay I'll put these on. I hope the points are out okay because I've all been exposed now for ages but let's just hope that they're okay. I have a, I have a feeling they might not be. Never mind let's just give it a go. I can just looking down here it's a bit few leaves and things around but I just thought I'd have a quick look at the oil. There is oil in it so that's alright. Okay. 
twin carbs, Thixton high rise, Ford um, generator. It's like that other one that I've got with the uh, circlip on it, look. Small pulley. Oh, it's on um 8BI bracket. doesn't look very well aligned to me actually it needs to be further forward doesn't it that uh, generator it needs sliding forward that belt isn't very well aligned at all yeah okay but it'll do for just starting up moving it okay the uh, distributor cap is on the leads are on I can't believe how small and low the car looks after working on the um, 32, you know, the sedan for so long. You know, it's got a dropped axle, dropped and flattened spring, flattened cross member, um, 550 tyres instead of 600. It's just incrementally lower all round. The body is a Model A body, which is just mini channeled, um, and so you have to section about two inches out of the grill. So the grill's about two inches lower. It's you know it's lower, 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 lower at every every step, every step of the way. Okay, back in a bit. Okay, put the battery in, the battery out the truck. Close the hood. Close the bonnet. I'm multilingual, I am. Let's um let's see if it'll go. Let's see if this pump will work. It sometimes doesn't if it's been standing. No, it hasn't worked. Okay. Oh, it has. Okay. Don't trust that. <coughs> I'm going to have to do something about this screen, aren't I? Because it looks crap like that. Right, let's... Um, let's see if I can... prime the pump here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You have to turn the tap on, don't you? Oh. Ah, now we might have a bit of... Yeah, that's better. Can you hear it? Right. Check for leaks. These are uh, Holly 2100s. They're a one inch venture. Oh, there's a leak there, look. Now, I think that happened last time. Okay, I'll turn this pump off. I think it has to kind of, you know, swell up to seal. Should we just turn the, turn the key then, see if it goes? What's the worst that can happen? Flaming inferno, obviously.
Okay, it normally starts up pretty well, you know, with priming the fuel. I suspect there's some corrosion on the points or something. So, I am... Um, I'll go and get a spark plug and put a spark plug on and see if that sparks. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, from what I can see, there's no spark. Right. Uh, it's looking a bit threatening here, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm not going to cover it up again, because it's quite a rigmarole. What I think I'll do, I'll get some help and I'll push it into the garage, and then I'll look at getting it going, um, you know, later or tomorrow I don't want to have to cover it all up again and I think it might rain in a bit so I'm gonna to have to get some help okay I will bring you back when I have more to show thank you very much thanks for taking an interest let's see if we can get old rusty going again cheers then bye okay there we are my wife helped me uh, we both pushed it round. It wasn't too difficult because it's relatively flat here. Pushed it round, backed it up and came in. Whew, a bit puffed out. You know. It doesn't do it any good leaving them standing, does it? You know what I mean? Look at this. Like thousands homeless here. Watch out, Meg. Yeah, I, I was, I wasn't. I was thinking oh, I'll get it fired up and take it round the block, but now I think I'll, I'll do a little bit more recommissioning before it gets a run round the block. Hang on, I'll put a light on. Yeah. I'll do a bit more commissioning before taking it round the block. But, you have to say though, considering it's been parked out there under that tarp, it's, um, it's not suffered too badly. It's a rough car to begin with. <sighs> okay. I'll tighten the, uh, tighten the windscreen up. There we go. That'll look better now. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, leave it at that for now. I've, I've at least achieved one thing, and that is to get the car in uncovered and into the garage. So I can now do a little bit of work to get it running again. Okay. Thanks very much then. Thanks very much for joining me in the garage. You take care, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Okay, I've took the distributor cap, took the fan off, took the distributor cap off, and I've taken this bolt out. I'm making a mental note that that is pointing kind of down there. So I'm hoping I can put this on the other bolt, which must be down there somewhere. Oh, it's straight on, look. There we go. Okay. Oops, working one ha one handed and left handed isn't my forte. I'm going to have to do something about the electric fan because it's chewing up my radiator, so that's no good. the bolts handy okay that should just come off now there we go oh <laughs> still got the wire on okay. hmm. take the 
Take the wire off, Mark. There we go. Get off. There we are. Yeah, look, the, the points are a bit fuzzy. So I'm hoping that if I clean those, it'll be okay. Now, I, I have a problem with this. Um, the cam in this engine, the slot, the slot on the cam, which I can probably show you. I'll get that tucked out of the way over there. I'm going to put the camera down in that hole, right? And I'll show you the slot on the cam. Okay, now I can't actually see the screen, but you are lined up perfectly with the slot on the cam. The slot is machined incorrectly. Okay, it hasn't got enough offset. So what I had to do, I had to hand make and file that drive dog on there. Um, it's built up with weld and hand filed to, till it fitted. Um, the upshot of that is that this doesn't fit my Churchill timing jig, which is awkward. It also means I can't swap distributors on and off. But I'm going to take this over to the bench and have a look at it. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll put a connection on it uh, and test for continuity and see if there is any at the moment. I'm assuming there isn't. Um, and then I will clean them and test again. Okay, let's get out the old trusty multimeter. Right. Now this isn't very loud. Don't know if you can hear it. Okay, so let's put that on there. Okay, nothing. Can you see the meter? No. Can you see the meter? There's nothing there, look. nothing because when it when it connects it makes a noise and it reads there so so I will clean the points but without adjusting them because they will have been adjusted so let's give them a little clean with a bit of wet and dry So now they're closed and the one opens then the other one opens so they're, they're open now then one closes and the other one closes oh, so that now they're both closed Well, you get the idea. I think that will run now. Okay, 
let's put it back on the car. I'll put some red grease on the cam just to provide a bit of lube. A bit of extra there, I'll take that off. Okay, right, back in a bit. Let's see if it'll go then. It's a bit light, so I, I can't run it for long. Well, I can't really run it at all, but I'll just turn it and see if it'll just cough. I'll leave it at that because it is light, it's quite light here and I live in a suburban area so I'm not going to run it and fire it properly. It's, I've done it enough so it just coughed and that'll have to do. I'll come back tomorrow and uh, have another go, get it running properly, check the tyres, check the brakes, check that everything feels okay air everything up and I'll take it for a little run around the block I won't go mad but uh, as long as it's not raining I'll uh, I'll give it a little run round and we'll get the camera going and you can come for a ride okay thanks a lot then I'll see you tomorrow bye there's the roadster I'll just uh, come down the next morning hello Mick is the dog. <laughs> Alright babe. The sun's come round now so she's uh, just gone in that little sunny spot there. I'll just um, come down to look at the roadster and uh, it don't look too bad. I just noticed this there with the sun shining in. Look, you see the cobwebs there. It's, it's a bit, uh, got a bit of spider Gonna have to make somebody homeless again. Can you see the cobwebs? Quite interesting. Okay, so let's um, let's give it another little tickle and see if it'll start. Okay, that doesn't sound too convincing. I think I might take the distributor off again. Have another look at it. Or maybe I'll just pull one of the plugs. I, d I don't think I... Well, if I flooded it, I did just try holding it at wide open throttle while I cranked it, and that should have sort of cleared it, but that didn't seem to work. Um, yeah, I think I might um, have another look at the distributor. My, my quick chivvy up of the points obviously hasn't done the trick, has it? OK, I'll bring you back when there's more to show.
I don't, I don't know if this spark is weak or strong. Well, I think it's weak, to be honest. I'll, I can't really... I need to lean through there. Let's just... I'm recording, don't they? Right, is it? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll clean the points again. Is the fuel coming in there? There's only a drip, isn't there? It's not a squirt. Maybe there isn't enough fuel. Alright, let's um let's try putting a little bit of fuel down the carb then. I think it should squirt more than that. It appears to only be running on the fuel that I've poured down the carbs. So it would appear to be a fuel delivery problem.
Okay, it, um, it seems to be a little bit better. Uh, it did restart then after a couple of squirts. I think everything needs, you know, to get used to having fuel in it again. I think things have dried out, you know, like the accelerator pump and things like that. So I could um, take the carbs off and just have a look through them. I'll, I'll leave the lower halves on and just take the top halves off because I've done that modification to these that I did on the other one. But um, I can't run it too long because I've took the electric fan off now. It's running. <laughs> At least it's running. I need to do that alignment down to on that belt. You can sort of see where it used to come to there. Look, I don't know how it's ended up back there. Maybe that pin's popped out and it's come loose a bit. It's a four inch stroke and a three and five sixteenths bore. Is it I think it's two seventy six cubic inch? Hello, right, so I've got the uh, generator back in position. Actually, I think I want to rotate it a bit. But anyway, uh, it's back in position. It's moved forward. And I made that little pin there, look. It's a little pin with a split pin on the end. That's to replace the pivot bolt that wasn't quite long enough to kind of pin over at this end. I think it had been cut. So I've made that little pin. So uh, other than the fact that I've probably want to just rotate it a bit because I've ended up with this bit sticking out, that could do with being a bit further down. Because there isn't a locating pin on this on this dynamo. Uh, and the I think the alignment's better if I put this rule on on there. It's kind of in the right place there. Close enough for uh, government work. Okay, right. So that'll do. Nice little job there. Well, I'm going to go and take the dog for a walk now, so I'll see you later.
okay there we are successful little road test car drove well once it had kind of got some of that fresh fuel through um, the fuel pump has stopped leaking so that's good uh, everything's looking rather dirty on the on the motor there yeah it, it runs okay I'd like to do something so I can get that distributor onto the Churchill rig been thinking about it so that's worthwhile having a go yeah the little roads now up and running back on the road okay right I'll tell you what I did notice and it's the same thing as at the fuel pump there things have dried out I can see like a bit of fuel there but I suppose it'll stop after a while I turned it off because it was getting a little bit warm okay right jolly good there's my improvised camera mount number 47 V8 flathead roadster and that's where I repaired my wheel arches well cleaned and painted them okay right so thank you very much for joining me in the garage then another one back out on the road take care and I'll catch you on the next one bye <laughs>